Okay, I think we just about got it. There it is. Spinal surgery. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm a chiropractic neurologist, not a surgeon. So when does a chiropractor recommend back surgery? Well, I can tell you this chiropractor um, will rarely recommend it, but I will tell you when I do think it's the best option. I'll also tell you who's a great surgical candidate. Hi, this is Dr. Hobbs, restoring, restoring hope and health for lifetime family wellness. So even though 90% of people experience back pain throughout their life, only about 2% may need surgery. When the pain gets bad, everyone wants to know if surgery can fix your back. It's said that your health is priceless. That's especially true once you've lost it. But surgeons have managed to put a price on back surgeries. You can find the full discussion on costhelper.com. I'll put a link below. The average price for back surgery is about $100,000. It's not quite as pain, painful financially if it's covered by insurance, of course. But costs aside, 20% of back surgeries fail, which means by definition and research, um, they need to be repeated within the next 10 years. And up to 94% of people will still have pain after surgery. Many surgeons say that a realistic goal for pain reduction from their surgery is about 30%. And the leg pain will likely get better, but, if the, um, but the back pain has about a 50-50 chance of improving. I tell patients that if I accept their case, I'll be able to reduce their pain by 50% at a minimum after just the first phase of treatment. And one can always get surgery, but once surgery's done, there's no going back and putting those pieces back. A nice study compared chiropractic treatment with microdiscectomy, the very careful, minimally invasive back surgery. Now, in this study, patients must have failed at least three months of non-operative management, including treatment with analgesics, medication, lifestyle modification, physical therapy, massage therapy, and or acupuncture. Take note, these folks had already failed with quality physical therapy, seemingly. So this was a particularly recovery-resistant group. Half them received surgery and half chiropractic. The results, chiropractic care benefited um, that group as much as those who underwent surgery. Also, interestingly, for those who did not improve with chiropractic, they did very well with the surgery. The conclusion, even those who fail everything else short of surgery can do quite well with chiropractic, and a trial of chiropractic treatment is a great way to qualify who may need and will likely benefit from surgery. Are you thinking of someone you know who can benefit from this information? Think of it, outside of red flags like loss of bowel or bladder function, tumor or infection, it just makes good sense to postpone surgery and its uncertain improvement and certain risks until the quality chiropractic recovery program has been tried. Share this information with others. It just may save someone's back, their future, or even their life. Seriously, because remember that opioids are often prescribed for this group of patients also, which have their own long-term risks. Give us a call, we'd love to help, have a wonderful day and may God bless you.